I'm Sami Zaydan with the top stories here in Al Jazeera now. At least 10 people have been killed during protests in Egypt after a judge sentenced 21 football fans to death. 74 people were killed in fighting between fans of rival football clubs Al Ahli and Al Masri last year. Mike Hanna is in Cairo where the verdicts were read out. A panel of judges have handed down a number of verdicts in the Port Said trial. 21 of the 73 accused have been sentenced to death. The rest of the verdicts say the judges will be handed down on the 9th of March. Also in Egypt, the president says security forces will hunt down rioters he blames for violent protests in several cities. At least eight people have been killed and the army has been deployed to Suez. Demonstrators across the country want President Mohamed Morsi to suspend the constitution and introduce an official minimum wage. Well, the government's opponents say Morsi has betrayed the uprising. Venezuela's vice president has ordered an investigation into the deaths of 54 people during a prison riot. Fighting began after soldiers entered the Urbana prison to search for weapons. At least 90 people were injured. French jets are bombing rebel positions as well as fuel stores and ammunition dumps near the Gao stronghold. These exclusive Al Jazeera pictures show buildings destroyed and trucks turned into scraps of twisted metal. Rebel forces say they sustained only minor injuries. Meanwhile, the UN expects as many as 700,000 civilians will be displaced by the fighting. It's 40 years this week since the landmark Roe versus Wade decision legalized abortion in the U.S. But the issue remains hugely divisive. Kath Turner was at this year's annual anti-abortion march in Washington. A new poll by the American television network NBC and the Wall Street Journal shows 70% of Americans do not want to see the Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision overturned. That's the highest level of support since polling on the issue began in 1989. And those in the pro-choice movement say they're encouraged by the significant change in attitude. And you can find the very latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com. I'm Sami Zaydan. Thanks for joining us.